Racing is a lot like life. Speeding from start to finish, trying to leave a legacy. Raleigh was raised in, in Toledo. He uh, raced out of Toledo. 32 feature wins and a 1973 USAC title cemented Raleigh Beals. He never made it to Indy, but he came very, very close to running it, and he should have. Uh, very talented. He ran against the greats, the John Cox and the Rutherfords and the Unsers. The story of racing in Toledo can't be told without him. Being respected by all the big names in racing meant a lot, not just to Raleigh, but, but also to the fans here in Toledo, that their hometown boy was kicking butt. He passed away in 2014, but legacy leaving and legacy making never stops in this sport. It's why Hemmelgarn has sponsored the Raleigh Beale Classic every year since 2010 with Raleigh's family in attendance. These things don't happen often where a hometown boy makes it to the top. And so when they do, you want to make sure that you honor them. Here we go! And it's why 23 USAC Silver Crown drivers want to take the green on Sunday. It's been neat to have an opportunity to race at Toledo Speedway, right? Obviously, um, it's got a long history and, and been been there for, for quite some time. I was fortunate to, to win it in 2011 and, and meet Raleigh. It certainly means a lot. It's the last race of the season for Toledo Speedway and the Silver Crown Series, whose former champions include A.J. Foyt, Al Unser Sr., Mario Andretti, Jeff Gordon, and Tony Stewart, 24-year-old Logan Seavey and five-time champ Cody Swanson are neck and neck to win it this year. Some of the biggest names in racing were involved in the Silver Crown Series at one time or another. So, so for somebody like me, it, it really means a lot to be connected to that history. And it's really neat because it's one of the last remaining um, an open wheel that, that you still have to run on both uh, pavement and dirt surfaces. There's been a lot of time in a lot of my career that I, I put um, my entire season's emphasis on trying to win the Silver Crown title. In a series steeped in history that stops at some of the sports special venues, Toledo is a gem. It is really fast for, for not being any bigger than it is. Silver Crown cars usually run from, from a half mile like Toledo all the way up to tracks a mile or a mile and a quarter in length. But um, Toledo has just enough banking, it's just the right shape that you really carry a lot of speed. And I feel like Silver Crown cars put on a really good show. The speed sneaks up on you. But the name drivers make for themselves winning. In USAC and in the Glass City, that's front and center. At Toledo Speedway, Joel Sebastianelli, BCSN.